Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of this uh, video series that's all about laser cutting. More specifically laser cutting with the final goal of doing something related to the making of printed circuit boards as I explained in part 1. However this video will not yet be about PCB making but about the installation of the op laser on my CNC machine. It's going to be a very short video because the installation is really simple and straightforward as you will see in a minute. Let's get to it. The first part is to install the PLH3D adapter which is basically the control box for the laser. Here I mounted the adapter to the sidewall which is close to the CNC machine but of course you can mount it also on the frame of your CNC. There are three connections. Of course the power connection the second connection is a two-wire connection that goes into the Avid CNC control electronics box. More specifically, it's connected to the uh, Ethernet smooth stepper. The two wires are labeled PWM and ground. The PWM wire goes to pin 17 of port 3 on the smooth stepper. The ground cable goes into pin 18, which is one of the several ground pins that are available in port 3. This wire goes through the cable track of the CNC directly to the laser head. There is only one more thing to do on the adapter side and it is to check that the settings of the adapter are consistent with the CNC that you are using. When I power up the adapter you will see briefly that in my case this LED lights up. If you check the table in the manual, you will see that for the Avid CNC only this LED should light up. For other machines there will be other combinations that are required. I will show you, I will power up the adapter. Briefly you see this LED coming on, only that one, and then the power LED comes on stating that the system is powered and ready for use. If during startup you see that the combination of the three LEDs that light up is not consistent with what you see in the table in the manual, you will have to change the setting. How this is done is clearly indicated on the Optlaser's website and also uh, you can find a video on YouTube explaining you exactly how to do this. The next step is to attach the laser to the Z axis. For that I designed a simple 3D printed bracket with some uh, T-slot screws, a couple of M3 screws that go into the uh, screw holes into the laser and I just slide the T-slot screws over the Z-axis. I fix the screws and lastly I just attach the cable and we're all done. I will provide a link in the description below should you want to print this bracket yourself. And that's all there is to it. In the next video I will go more into detail on PWM signals since these are absolutely key in controlling a laser. See you soon. Thank you.